Now it's time to install the board on the chassis. There are four of them. This is the Wi-Fi board, the Arduino, motor driver board with additional interfaces, and servo control board. As you can see, there are a lot of holes on the chassis, so we have to do some planning on how our boards will be laid out. The two main boards that need to be mounted are the Arduino and the Wi-Fi board. There are spacers included to mount those two boards. First, we have to figure out where we will put each of the two boards. We'll start by finding a good spot for the Arduino. There are a few options and I believe that this is one of the best possible places. So we'll use this, this and these holes. To mount the loom. Now it's time to see where this board will go. It will have to be oriented with the antennas on the back. And we move around until we see a good set of holes. So here is one example of a good set of holes. It seems that our board will go into those four holes here. So let's see how it's all gonna work. If this board is here, mounted on the bottom, like this, and the Uno will be mounted here. As you can see, the bottom board will be mounted here, here, and here, underneath the Uno, and the Uno will be mounted here, here, and here. This means that there will be some overlapping over the spacers. I will put first the spacers for my Uno board so I can properly tighten them in place. The spacers are in this back. There are some short and long spacers. I have decided to use long spacers for the Arduino, which I would recommend you to do, since some cables will come from underneath the board from the big holes. I will take the first spacer and a nut for it. And since I have decided to mount it on this hole, I will loosely screw it in place. Take the next spacer and not I believe the hole I picked was this one. So we'll put it here and see how it goes. So far so good. The spacers in, are in proper location. Time to put the last spacer. With its nut. I believe this is in this hole here. I believe that now we can properly mount our Uno. For now I will just tighten this spacer in place. The 
since our Wi-Fi board will cover it and will reduce the chance for easy access to it. It seems like the spacer on this side also will be problematic. So I'll try to secure them both in the proper location. For this I will loosely mount the Arduino in place. Tighten a little more this spacer so it will not be that loose. As you can see, I am installing the spacers so I can access them with screw on the top from the Arduino side, which makes it easy to install and uninstall the Arduino versus tightening nuts on the top. Okay. This should be enough to position properly the spacer on the bottom and tighten it in place. Since I have started doing this, I can also tighten the spacer at the front, though not very tight, so we still can adjust it a little bit. Now that the spacers are in place for the Arduino, I can remove it to have nice easy access to install the Wi-Fi board. Now I will use the short spacers, four of them. I will mount them on the board so it will be easy to position them. On the chassis. I will not tighten the screws to have some room for adjustment. By tightening the screws on the side of the board and leaving the nuts on the opposite side, it makes it easier to mount and unmount the board if necessary. So I would recommend you to do the same. Now we have the board with the four spacers. We were oriented with the two antenna connectors to the back where we will mount the antenna. The two antennas. And 
we can proceed to install the boards by tightening the nuts. It is always recommended to first tighten two diagonal nuts to have the board properly orient itself. Do not fully tighten them. Add two more nuts. And now you can tighten the nuts. To secure the board in place. Do not over tighten since those are plastic spacers and it will be probably fairly easy to damage the thread. The board should be secure enough. Now we can turn over and properly tighten the board in place. The Wi-Fi board is installed. Now we can go ahead and install the Arduino board. Everything should be pretty much ready for it. So all we need is that the screws are just a little bit the front spacer which we left loose for this purpose. and tighten the board in place. Again, our tightening is really not necessary, but we still have to have the board securely tightened. Now, we can install the motor driver shield on top of the Arduino, making sure all of the pins are properly matching on both sides. So this appears to be proper inserting. Insert it and press it to fit well. The boards are installed. Actually we can even install the servo control board 
since it allows easy access to the motor control connection so again the board should plug on these pins here and these pins here if some pins are slightly deformed as in my case you can very carefully straighten them make sure everything is properly aligned and then carefully insert the servo control board and press it in place the boards are installed you can see the full stack of shields and the Wi-Fi board on the bottom 